Okay, welcome back to another video. If you're interested in self-improvement, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button. Um, I think a lot of people like these kinds of videos that I do. Uh, they're kind of funny, but this one is going to be funny and educational. Okay, so saw this post on Reddit, and let's dive right in. My girlfriend is asexual, and I don't know how to deal with it. Hey, I'm pretty nervous posting this, but I realized I need some anonymous advice. I don't expect anyone to read through it all, so it's more to vent and gathering my thoughts than anything. Context. Well, let me say, my girlfriend of eight months is asexual, and I don't know how to deal with it. We've been very close friends at university for well over a year. For months, we've been crushing on each other to the point that over summer break, I was head over heels obsessed with her. Ha <laughs> ha. And eventually we made out at a club and admitted how we felt about each other. She's unbelievably perfect, funny, blisteringly intelligent, very caring, and way out of my league in terms of attractiveness. So I was over the moon when she said she wanted to be more than friends with me. The catch is that she's asexual. She explained to me how she's never felt sexual attraction, definitely not in the way she imagines other people do. This was a shock to me because I'd seen her get with other guys at clubs and go on dates, but she explained how that's not mutually exclusive with being asexual. She told me she felt it might be different with me and that she's spoken to friends about how she might be attracted sexually towards me. Initially, this was all very confusing and a little devastating. I really didn't understand and had the thought that I wasn't good enough for her to be sexually attracted to. Regardless, we still both really liked each other and wanted to spend time together. Our rooms are very close, so we spent almost 24-7 with each other. Things became more confusing when we most, when we for me when most nights we would end up making out. Often she would be grinding on me and things would get very heated, but then as soon as it was about to go further it would be like a switch and she would say, not tonight, and either go to sleep next to me or leave the room. Obviously, this was very frustrating for me, but for ages I didn't mention it as I didn't want her to feel pressured into doing something she didn't want to do. I think if she had just told me she was asexual, I would have been able to deal with it much better. But the issue was the line that it might be different with you. This kept me clinging on to the idea that maybe we would start having sex and I wouldn't feel so guilty for having this unreciprocated lust. Well, a month or so in, we were both pretty drunk and we had sex. I think at the time I had this impression that she'd shifted along the asexual spectrum and was more demisexual. However, it turned out to be a very infrequent occurrence. That month, we slept with each other once again with the teasing almost every night. I eventually told her how I felt and asked her if she would clarify about how she felt about things. And she said she'd need some time to properly, properly formulate her thoughts around sex. The next month she stays around my home for five days, during which we have sex every night. This made me think things were changing. But over the next three months at uni, we had sex three times when drunk again. Again, I'll reiterate that we're going over to each other's rooms every night and being very physical, but she would always change when it started to escalate and would shut it down. Another element to add to this is that she started making fun of the size of my penis. At first I laughed it off as a joke, as we often made bad jokes to each other, but this started to really affect me when she also made a joke about, about how I'd never made her orgasm. I became really insecure about my size even though I'm 16 centimeters, which I believe is the average range. Even knowing this, I feel really humiliated about this. It's difficult not to feel inadequate. After she made that joke, I told her that I didn't find it funny and she apologized and said she wouldn't tease me about it again. She said how it's common for some men to not be able to make women orgasm. The thing is, I don't know what I can do differently. She's rarely let me go down on her. She doesn't like me fingering her and she starts hurting a little while into sex. I've tried asking her what I can do better, but I'm also starting to associate humiliation and rejection with sex. I think it's worth adding that the context that my girlfriend was a virgin before me, but that she had had a bad experience with a guy pressuring her to do things she didn't want to do. Also adding to the context, I was in a two-year relationship before liking my current GF. 
With my ex, it was normal to have sex every day, where she would also orgasm multiple times. I told her again how difficult it was for me and asked her again if she was ready to vocalize how she feels about sex, but she says she hasn't had enough time to formulate her thoughts and understand it herself. I also brought up the idea of a polyamorous relationship, but we both agreed that that wouldn't work for us. She couldn't help but feel jealous and I couldn't help but feel guilty. Well, that brings us to now. This paints a very, paints a very narrow and negative view of her. She's honestly so amazing and I love her a lot. But ultimately, ultimately, I'm really struggling with the lack of sex, and I feel like I have no closure on the issue. She's honestly the perfect person for me in every other way but this. I don't know if I could handle a long-term relationship where I have sex maybe 12 times a year with my significant other. The idea of breaking up with her is also devastating. I love her a lot. Our friends are pretty much perfectly overlapping Venn diagram, and I don't know if I could deal with them break up in its aftermath with my finals at university coming up. I feel like such a pig for actually caring about this. Isn't a relationship meant to be about love? I'm still clinging on to this hope that the lack of sex is due to some short-term libido and that things will be normal in the future. I also would not be comfortable with the compromise of her having sex with me out of some kind of duty to make me feel happy. TLDR, my girlfriend is asexual. We sometimes have sex, but I don't know how to deal with the infrequency. I feel guilty for hurting her. Sorry, I feel guilty for feeling hurt. I also feel insecure about sex. We don't want an open relationship, and breaking up with her is not really an option I'm considering. It seems like I'm pretty snookered. What do you think I should do? Do I tell her I made this post? Wow. That took me a long time to get through, and that was not super fun to read, honestly. After a few paragraphs, I'm like, God, how long is this? But this is... uh one hell of a post I mean there's like a lesson in every paragraph <laughs> oh god uh, first of all he says he's nervous about posting this yeah don't fucking post it on the relationship sub although I think he got some okay advice in this one but the relationship sub is where you post if you want to have women who are feminists give you your answer if you want the brutal honest truth you definitely don't post it here I would definitely say ask TRP uh, even the relationship advice subreddit, which is like the better version of this one, is better. Um, says his girlfriend is asexual. It's like, no, dude, you're just fucking a huge gamma and she's not turned on by you. I mean, that's clearly what this is. Uh, she made, made out with plenty of other guys at clubs. She wasn't a virgin. Like, she just doesn't like this guy. She thinks his dick is small and is straight up telling him. And she is basically keeping him as some kind of weird beta orbiter she's having sex with him very rarely for validation to keep him around this girl is fucked in the head this guy has some hope if he can get it together and like get out of this relationship um let's see if i want to dissect any of these paragraphs uh he has major one-itis i mean that's just how it always goes guys especially for guys in the young age they're looking at one girl they put all their eggs in that basket um, and that's what he did here. Major crushing on each other. He's, he's in college. I mean, he's not a Christian. He's not trying to wait till marriage. So he's obviously into sex. So if that's how it's going to be, I don't know why he's putting all his eggs into this basket. Uh, this crazy ass basket. And this fucking language right here. This is the ultimate gamma language. She's blisteringly intelligent. Like, what the hell? That is... That is like a straight up fucking like fedora tipping gamma. Um, whew. I was over the moon when she said she wanted to be more than friends with me. She's definitely not asexual. He seems to be under this delusion that she's asexual. She's just lying. He keeps asking her why they're not fucking. She says, I have to formulate my thoughts. The fact that he didn't break up with this girl after the first month is a huge... Uh, sign of how low his self-esteem is. He is seriously invested in this girl. He is not thinking that he's going to get anyone else. Uh, so he's trying to make it work with this girl. He even says at the bottom, breaking up is not an option, which is ridiculous. Like That is basically how almost 85 to 90% of all of these posts are solved, whether it's dead bedrooms, relationship advice, po posts on Ask TRP about an LTR. It's like, dude, the answer is just to break up. Like, every single fucking time. Um, 
So, <laughs> she told me she felt it might be different with me and that she'd spoken to friends about how she might be actually sexually attracted towards me. Well, she isn't, dude. She's clearly not sexually attracted to you and she talks about your dick being too small. Seriously? How do you, how can, if a girl is seriously telling you, your dick is too small and you never make me come, why are you in a relationship with her? Like, that is ridiculous. That is so, like, that's beyond gamma. What's lower than gamma? Omega? This is omega status. Um, wow. Spent way too much time with her. He probably was knocking on her door every night. <laughs> I'm just reading this. I didn't want to pressure her into doing something she didn't want to do. Okay, fine. But then just be like, hey, when you feel like being sexual, let me know. I'm going to peace out and talk to other girls. <laughs> Wipe my hands and be done with it. This is ridiculous. One-itis, no abundance mentality. Doesn't it always come down to that, guys? It's the, it's the scarcity mentality and the one-itis of the beta. And then this demisexual term is... Dude, I don't even know what this means. Is This sounds like some SJW speak. What is demisexual? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's just some SJW shit. But they did it out of having a little sex streak. I wonder if it was because the guy that she was actually really in love with totally rejected her. <laughs> Seriously. She probably had someone else in mind um, that she really, really wanted more than this guy. He probably said, God, no. And then she said, fine. And then just jumped on this dude's dick for a week. And then that ended. This is just a sad story. I mean, what this guy can do is the fact that he's young, he's only 20, like hopefully he will learn this now. There are people who post stuff like this who are like 30, 40, and that is really sad. It's basically done for them. There's no going back. This guy's 20, he could still be red-pilled. Now, I will never be the one to reach out and try to red-pill someone. This guy's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of work on this guy, but he's young enough that he will hopefully, um, you know, figure things out. Although, she fucked him up. He became really insecure about his size. Now he's going to always think he has a small dick. And I'm from America. I got to know. What is 16 centimeters to inches? I'm just totally confused now. Yeah, okay, so like, exactly. He's right. He has like an average dick size. Like, this girl is making fun of his average dick. She is for sure on some t some type of carousel, whether she's still on it or just got off of it. She's had enough dick to know that his average dick is not big enough for her. This is such a huge flag. Dude, get out of this relationship. This is so sad. Let's me go down on her. Doesn't like me fingering. Hurting while having sex and at the same time making fun of his dick size. Yeah, that's really odd. I don't know what's going on here. This girl is just such a hot mess. That's what it really comes down to. Like, I don't know why he's uh, he's in this relationship. He's in college. Like, this is such a waste of his time. Um, he's really struggling with lack of sex. And yet he doesn't think breaking up is an option. Guys, breaking up is always an option. And I say that as a dad. Like, it is always an option. Like, I'm pretty, I'm in pretty deep, but it's not impossible. And it's not, not necessarily never going to happen. It's just, you know, the deeper you're in, you gotta, you gotta be careful. But like, this guy's 20. He's not in deep at all. Eight months of his life? Like, come on. But the problem is, he's a huge gamma. Just the things that he says, the things that he cares about perfectly overlapping Venn diagram of friends. Like, who talks like that? This is like a fedora hat tipping gamma. Um, let's see what the comments say. Yes, you're not compatible. Definitely.
making excuses for the penis joke. Here he is. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. This girl makes fun of your penis in a serious way and tells her you can't, you can't help her reach an orgasm. Please move on with your life. This girl has so many red flags. I, don't, I think I'm just repeating myself over and over. I'm, I'm interested in seeing his responses. Love isn't enough. You have to be compatible with a partner. Okay, fine. I think that's true in this case. I guess the issue is that we do want the same things in life. Share goals and want to work together. It's only with, with sex that we're not in sync. I suppose I have to figure out how much I value each aspect. Dude, what the fuck? It's only with sex that we're not in sync. Yeah, but it's like the most important thing. You're a fucking guy. I mean, whether you're, you know, Christian and looking for a wife or you want to spin plates, like, you gotta, like, be compatible on this aspect. Seriously. The girl's definitely a hot mess. Yep. Yep. Let's see. Okay, she's saying body shaming is abuse. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think you're being abused. I agree that she's not being entirely transparent. I imagine for her communication is difficult as this is her first actual relationship. Right. And communicating difficult thoughts about sexuality isn't exactly easy. Yeah, dude. You are such a fucking cuck and a gamma. This is so bad. Yeah, he just is defending the... Everyone's basically calling it out for the the penis abuse, like the penis size comments, and he's just seriously defending it. I plan to talk everything with her. I plan to talk everything through this with her. I can't read, but seriously, like, this is uh, ridiculous. Um, so bad, dude. I'm gonna close this. So, so, so bad. <laughs> Someone's saying, go to dead bedrooms if you want to see where this is going. Yeah. All right. Well, I think you guys get it. What are the lessons here, right? Dude is way too young, so he doesn't need to be going through this, but he is definitely on the gamma spectrum of the sociosexual hierarchy. He might be lower than that. I mean, he's, he's using really, really odd language, like blisteringly intelligent. She's unbelievably perfect. Like the one-itis is out of control, puts all her eggs in this basket. He's got no abundance mentality, even though he is in college where there are tons of other girls that he could be talking to or being in a relationship with that would definitely be willing to have regular sex with him because they're not crazy. This girl's straight up abusive and psychopathic. Um, definitely a CC writer from the past, in my opinion. She's just not being open to him about her real sexual history, given that she supposedly hasn't had a lot of sex and yet is making fun of this dude's penis size, right? Uh, what, a, what an absolute nightmare. This video is honestly super long. Um, so let's just probably end it there. Uh, but yeah, don't be this guy, episode two. Hey, thank you so much for listening or watching the video today. I want to ask you, what kind of things do you want to hear about? You know what we really focus on in this channel? It's about men's education, right? Um, the manly arts, finance, religion, and uh, health and fitness. So if you got any questions around these topics or things that you think might be relatable or that I could bring uh, any fact or opinion on, by all means, drop a comment below and feel free to email me at rightofpassage85 at gmail.com. Uh, thanks so much. Take care.